So, as promised, here's a quick flip through of the new folio um, die. The journal I've created is a nature notebook and he is my, oh I can't say it again, Lapidopterist. Here we go. And he is one that studies and collects butterflies and moths. So, um, I covered a piece of Sizzix mat board with this beautiful, beautiful paper from Graphic 45. And it's actually called the Nature Notebook Collection. And it is absolutely stunning. Um, hardest thing is just deciding which paper to use first. I'm, I'm the double sided, so that really doesn't help me at all. So on the cover, I've used one of the new mandala dies and I cut it out in cream and I've just aged the edges with a little bit of um, distress ink as I've done to all the edges of the actual notebook and then I've built up the, um, the decoration on the cover with some fussy cut butterflies. The cover of the pack of papers is brilliant because it's actually slightly heavy heavier card weight with a sheen to it so that's that's where the sheen's coming from and the butterflies hold the shape a little bit more with them being sturdier. The spine I wanted to keep very organic so I've actually used gardening twine which is something that I really love to do. I love recycling, I love using gardening twine and I love you reusing brown paper. So inside the journal I never actually got around to putting my fastener on and it was just held together with a clip and um, it stays that way. I will do a clip. So the journal opens up into the two sections and we have a flower made from the corner pocket and flower and then we just have some added um, decoration onto the journal. We start on on this side and you'll see that the entire of the journal I left as clean white matte board and I used the mandala stencil um, to ink Eileen's leaf green ink through just to make a really pretty background and what that actually gave me as well was the perfectly coloured uh, mandala for adding onto my little book. So the shadow box uh, was something I was playing around with, I'll try not to glare you too much and it's actually, oh it's lifted up a little bit, it's um, actually made from this little section which Eileen designed to fit under here to um, be the support for the pocket of the journal. But I looked at it and I just thought, hmm, might have corners that are already done. And I managed to actually get it to, to match. It was a little bit fiddly. It's not a perfect match, but I was happy with it and it's quite organic looking. So I cut um, a strip of card for the back of the box, lined it with fabric, and I fussy cut out some more butterflies. The um, the cover is actually from one of my Sizzix dies from the packaging, so it's nice and sturdy. So he has his glasses in here ready, and then we have a small journal, and this is just decorated with some of the elements um, from the paper pack. We've got some old um, exercise uh, pages. These these papers are actually some that I found at my mum's, and they're probably older than me. So hmm, yes. So we have a few um, decorations in there, just fussy cut from the papers. We have a pocket in there. So we've got a little book in there, a little plant book, so that we can look up what's what while we're out in the field. So that just tucks into that little corner. I didn't bother with a flower on this one because I thought, well, it's on the inside and it's a little bulky. So on the back inside cover, I did do the whole um, corner pocket with a full flower on and I wanted it to be kind of muted, the colours. I wanted it to kind of all fade into the background a little bit and be quite earthy and organic. So in here we've got our little book of insects, which is just a concertina piece, two pieces of uh, card from the paper pack. And gosh, these papers are just perfect for making a journal like this. They just, they go together so easily. And this die is just perfect, absolutely perfect. You can have such great fun with it. And as you've seen from the rest of the team, there are so many different ways of putting the journals together. So I hope you enjoyed having a, a closer look 
and um, I hope it's going to inspire some of you to have a go and we'd love you to share when you've created um, your journals and just you know give us all a heads up in the um, in the group and share with us what you've been making okay have fun stay safe bye